Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix DirectX error with Battlefield 6 game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to switch from PAX to NATO. Now, this has worked for many uh, players, so it might work for you. So you can go to the game and then go to load, loadouts. And over here, you can see if this is set to PAX Armata, you can uh, set it to NATO, switch to NATO, and then you can try to play the game and then check. This should work still not working if you have engineer selected then you can go to loadouts and then select assault and vice versa so you can go to the game go to loadouts and if engineer is selected over here then in that case you can go back to loadouts and you can select assault and then you can check if it is already set to assault you can select engineer and then check try to change it and then check now the next step is to go to loadouts and then change main main weapon to different one now this has also worked for many players so uh, you can go to loadouts and then uh, you can change the main weapon so for example uh, if you have selected like for example the main weapon is uh, like assault rifle uh, maybe you can try smg so you can switch to uh, switch the weapon and then you can check. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Now, the next step is to turn off screen space AO and GI. Now, for this, you can go to the game and then you can go to settings. Click on this gear icon, settings icon, and then you can go to graphics and then go to graphics quality settings. Click on edit and scroll down and over here you can see screen space AO and GI. If this is set, like you can turn this off. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. Turn this off and then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to try full screen borderless mode. Now this has also worked for many players. So you can go to settings and then go to display options, uh, go to graphics and scroll down go to display now you can try this uh, if this is set to uh, full screen you can try borderless and then set it to borderless and then you can check now next step is to cap the fps if that does not work you can go to graphics and then go to advanced option over here and then over here you can see frame rate limiter you can maybe you can just set the FPS like maybe 120 or maybe 60. So I will just keep it at 60. Maybe you can try 120. And then you can check. Now, still not working. Lower down video settings. This has also worked for many players. So you can go to graphics. Sorry. Go to graphics and graphics quality. You can set it to. Uh, you can try low or maybe you can go for go for medium. So try to lower down uh, graphics qualities. Like if it is set to ultra, you can set it to high or you can even switch to medium. I will set it to low and then you can check. And if that does not work, you can even try window mode. This has also worked for many uh, players. So it might work for you. You can switch to window mode and then you can check. Apply the settings. Whenever you make changes, make sure that you apply the settings. Now, the next step is to set GST render DX12 enable to 1. Now, for this, you can go to File Explorer and then go to Documents folder over here and then open Battlefield 6 Settings Pro Save Profile and then open with Notepad and find this uh, DX12. Here you can see uh, GST render DX12 enable. If this if the value is set to zero, you can type in number one over here, one, and then go to file, save it, and then you have to relaunch the game. So if the game is running, you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Rename the uh, complete uh, Battlefield 6 folder in documents folder. All the saved settings will be lost. All the saved settings and the saved game progress. Now for this, you can if you want, you can create a backup first. So copy this. And then you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, in my case, I already have a backup. Once you have the backup created, you can make a right click, rename it, and then you can check. 
If that does not work, you can try the first, you can try to set the DX12 to a number one, enable to one and then check. Also delete the beta folder. If you have like beta folder, you can delete it, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to try these option in launch option. So if you have the game on EA app or Steam, if you have the game on Steam, I don't have the game on Steam. I have added the game from EA app to Steam. So make a record on the game, select properly in the launch option, typing dash D3 D11. Now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, type in dash DX11, launch the game and then check. You can even try dash DX12 over here, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this. Now EA app users can go to manage, view properties, advanced launch option, type in dash D3 D11, save it, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, type in dash DX11 and then save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Try dash DX12, save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove it, save it, follow the next step. Now the next step is to try debug mode in NVIDIA control panel. This has also worked for many players. So you can go to desktop, make a right click on the desktop, show more option and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, once the NVIDIA control panel is open, you can go to uh, help option over here. And then here you can see debug mode. You can put a check on debug mode. Once the debug mode is checked, you have to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to go to system BIOS. Now, this has also worked for many players. So if, you have, if your BIOS has this option, PCIe option, you can, uh, if it is set to auto, you can set it to gen four. So you can go to system BIOS, uh, to go to the system BIOS, you can go to Windows settings and then you can go to Windows update and then you can go to advanced option and then you can go to uh, uh, the recovery option and then over here you can see advanced startup. You click, on, click on restart now and once you click on restart now, you can go to troubleshoot option and then uh, once you click on troubleshoot, you will see system restore something, not the system restore, you will see advanced startup or something like that, which will take you to the system BIOS. And once you go to the system BIOS, you can find this PCIe option and you can set it to auto. And it may be at Zen 4, set it to, um, no, actually set it to Zen 4 if it is in auto mode. You can set it to Zen 4 and then apply the sending, make sure that you, when you make the changes, apply the changes and then restart the computer and then check. If not working, you can revert to auto. Also, when you after you make the select Gen 4, you can try borderless mode when you launch the game in graphic settings. Next step is to disable integrated graphic cards. So if your computer has a dual graphic card, make a record in the start menu and device manager and then expand display adapter over here. And over here, if your computer has a dual graphic card, make you can make a right click on integrated one and you can disable the device and then relaunch the game and then check. And you can enable it uh, once you are done playing the game. Uh, you can make a right click on the integrated graphic card once again and enable it. Now, the next step is to try power saver mode. Now, for this, type in control panel in Windows search box, go to control panel, go to hardware and sound, go to power options. Now over here, if you see power saver, I don't have power saver, but if you see power saver like this, you can select power saver over here and then relaunch the game. You can even go for balanced or high performance, check which one is working fine for you. But first of all, try power saver and then check. Now the next step is to turn off or turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings and then click on advanced graphic settings. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, you can turn it on then relaunch the game and then check. If it is already on, then you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. You might have to restart the computer. So restart the computer when you make the changes and then check. Now, the next step is to turn off smooth motion in NVIDIA app. So type in NVIDIA app in Windows search box and then you can select and go to graphics over here. Select Battlefield 6 over here. Once you select Battlefield 6, now you can go to global settings over here and if smooth motion, if this is on, turn it off. Again, go back to program settings, select Battlefield 6, scroll down, smooth motion, turn it off and then relaunch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have an NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card, your operating system, click on find. And then on this page, 
you will see the latest graphic card driver. So whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver, you can click on view and then click on download. And once the download is complete, uh, you can run this exe file. When you run the exe file, uh, you can uh, click on yes to allow, then click on agree and continue, select custom option, then click on next, and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure that you put a check over here, click on next, and after that restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, you can type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings, click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder, and then open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, now click on the game and select high performance over here, then relaunch the game. Again, click on add desktop app, select open SP folder, BF6, and then click on the exe file, select high performance over here, relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to disable or enable the HDR in Windows. Now for this, you can go to Windows settings, go to system display HDR, you can turn off the HDR and then check. If the HDR is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Try both. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert, you know, this, this has also worked for many players. So if you have, first of all, uh, you can set it to default, the overclocking to default, and then close MSI Afterburner, Revert, you know, or if you have any kind of overclocking application running, you can uh, close it. Disable overlay. Uh, like if you have any overlay application, you can disable the overlay. For example, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If this is already off, then you can turn it on and then check. So also close all the other overlay application like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app uh, settings, turn off Nvidia overlay and close all the overlay application and then check. If you have undervolted, this has also worked for many players. If you have undervolted your computer, you can set it to default, remove the undervolt and then relaunch the game and then check. Next step is to delete Nvidia cache from this location. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, users folder, your username folder, and then open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, and then open app data, local folder, and then find Nvidia folder. Uh, now open NVIDIA and delete this GX cache and GL cache. Delete it and then re relaunch the game and then check. Or you can restart your computer and then check. And also uh, clear direct shader cache. Now for this, type in disk cleanup and then click on disk cleanup over here. And then over here you will see shader, direct X shader cache. Put a check. Put a check on everything, including direct X shader cache. And then you can click on OK, delete it, relaunch the game, and then check. Next step is to update Windows. Do not ignore this. Open Windows settings, go to Windows Update or Update in Security, and then check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, make sure all the updates are installed, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Now, do not ignore this updating BIOS. Now, this has also worked for many players. So you can go to your system manufacturer website. If you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo, whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. The last step is to verify or repair the game file. If you have the game on the e-app, click on manage, click on repair. Once the repair is done, relaunch the game. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrity game files. After the verification, launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix direct error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.